Oh, he's, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's tested and he's, proven. Yeah, I wouldn't. You know how I am, bro. I don't bring no one around. But, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, he's man. he's the man, dude. He said they were just praying for corn back in the day. Another band. He said oh, he, he left like uh, letters about Jesus loves you to us. Dude, in corn in '98, he left yeah. you guys packages. That's yeah, thing. like we might have laughed it off. No, I know, seeds, I know, I know, you know, I know. You know yeah. what I mean? Exactly. What am I doing, dude? Hey, buddy. How do I get in the show? I don't know what I'm doing on Twitch. Is it on right now? I don't know. All I see is my name. How do I do this? Hey. Hey. Oh, there it is. Get your banana out of the screen. No. You calling us? <laughs> How do we do this? Right, let's see. Does it say you're on? I don't know. Uh, you're in the show. Okay, it's going down. So we're live. Am I supposed to log in? How do I? No, no. I think you're you're in right now. Let me double check. Hold on. Yeah, those guys are shut up. Hey, can you do my boca? He stayed there doing it. Oh, there's already 120 people on that. These guys are crazy, hey, right? There's already 120. <laughs> you guys are crazy. There's already over 100 people. On How that. do I get in here? What you're do we in. Do? Oh, you're in. So what do we do? So you're gonna talk about? Let's talk about the show. It's oh, that's, oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna pull in the um, comments here. What does that say? Comments. There we go. There's hey. everyone. <laughs> all right. I felt all lonely because no one was thinking it was here. Everyone's in. What's here. up, y'all? So let's talk about the party. So you're going to play uh, Alive and uh, Southtown and all that crap? <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. Uh, here this we is go. my first time on Twitch. Last time, my first time on Sonny's we Twitch. We can't see. They were, they were saying they could see you. Okay. All right. Okay. All right here we go. <laughs> uh, I got a man on my back. We are. That's very, let me see. Here we go. What's up? Ryan. What's up, y'all? Uh, okay, wait. Where's the newest comments? We don't know what we're doing. We're going to try uh, to answer questions. We're, going, we're just we're going, going to group right off now. and hang out. All right. Here it is. We're in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, doing the uh, Whosoever Skate Parks and uh, speaking engagements. And, you know, these crazy guys. These guys met you today right here. Ryan, heads in the house. We got a, a whole other team back there. What is going on? We won't shut up. <laughs> hey. I'm just kidding. You, you're out of the house. That's it. Get out of my house. <laughs> and then we have Lucas who's going to. I'm just kidding, guys. You guys don't have to, you don't have to shut up. All right, hey, what uh, what Ryan's you, what, Ryan's a pro at this, so he's gonna show me how. Tell, well, let's talk about the um, you got those shows coming up, right? Yeah, yeah. So what, what's up? When are they? <clears throat> so uh, Corn is gonna play uh, <laughs> the whiskey a go go. <laughs> <laughs> Vinos here in Little Rock. Dude, we haven't played in over a year. How was it to play? Oh wait, we played one show. How was that to play that show? Same as you. <laughs> wait, was it amazing? Wait, wait. It was amazing, except I am so. Put on my COVID weight, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Hey, when is this over? hey, how many show? Hey, how many times when you did that show, you had to perform like three? Yeah, it was uh three three albums back to back, three sets in one night. That is gnarly. Hey, can you imagine? I remember when you played with Love and Death, and then you played with Corn. Yeah, and Pretty you were like dying. No. How'd you do it? That was your old night. <laughs> You're so much younger now too. So wait, then you played what? You played three shows, three sets in one. Here, tell these guys right here. Because we did three sets. <laughs> yeah, we did oh, three sets. Record. It was pre-recorded. Three three sets. We did South Town, uh, Satellite. This Thursday is uh, Fundamental Elements, front to back, and then we did a rarity set of all like. And so, all how many? Uh, how many? How many hours between takes? All day, dude. All day long. Why? It was it was bad. I was cramping dude. up like an old guy. Is this set right here? G right here. Nah. Oh, is this, these are the dates, right? I just don't know. I was cramping up. These are the dates. Yeah, we already aired the uh, satellite one, and then this Thursday coming up. Where's the camera? Here is fundamental. That's so right, right here, right that's, here on the POD. That's my hair. You got, heads. you got a hair <laughs> in, man. Right? Ew. All right. So when's the next show? Uh, and what album is it? Fundamental elements of South Town, right there in the middle. I need your glasses. Oh man. Uh, 8 p.m. No, no. It says 9 p.m. May May 27th at 9 p.m. Eastern. Eastern. And they're doing the. You're doing the. Uh, that's 9 p.m. Eastern. Yep. And it's the 20th oh, anniversary. Like, no, it's Fundamental Elm to South Town from front to back. And, and what else? And what's the next album? Central and 6 o'clock West Coast. And, and then, then the, Rarities on June 10th. 
we're playing songs we haven't played and never played. We're playing songs uh, from 20, over 20 years ago. And so the reason why I came on here, I mean, we're, we're trying to we're trying to figure out this Twitch thing. He's Ryan's been on Twitch with the servers and interviews, but Ed and I are hoping to do this at some point. Hey, what's the uh, typical? What's the, what album is going in blind on? Greatest hits. Is that you're not playing that either show? Are we, you? We played that on the rarity set. Oh, I wasn't supposed to say that. Uh oh, but we did for the first time ever. Are you you didn't yeah. you never played that song live? We, That's we, my favorite POD song. What? <laughs> Which one is it? so good? You played that on Leno or or no? Okay, did you did you play no. it on uh never? What's this? SNL. Sunny, Brian, and Ryan. What up? From, what up, fam? Fam, love you. Watching you from Fort Bliss, Texas. Texas. What's that? He said Gark two G A R C two. See ya. What up, what up? All right, well, hey, look at this is the deal. You got head, you got Sonny. Yeah, Ryan's right in the house, all the who's what, what, what questions do you got for these guys? Let's do let's do the uh Rasta Gal, massive res uh, respect. Anthony Surat, are these going to be available on DVD at any time? Uh we're trying to figure it out because there's different ways of putting music out. Maybe we'll do like a um a release of it. I don't know. It's so many different ways of putting stuff out, but how do we rewatch a we satellite show? You can't can't it was a 48 hour thing. Fundamental Elements comes up this Thursday, and it's the same thing. It's a 48-hour gig. That's it. Oh, uh, so, yep. So you got to watch There's, a, there's stupid up. politics with uh, publishing and stuff like that, and then they don't even let us play our own music. Like, get in here, do you? No, no, I'm, trying. I'm, I'm looking at the comments. All right, how do we get in All here? right, here we go. What else? What's your favorite What's your, what's your favorite song to play? Uh, what's your favorite song to play? Much love from New Zealand. Um. Rob, who serves in the house? Uh, I don't know that whatever whatever the crowd's feeling. We all, you know, obviously, Youth of Nation, Alive, South Town's always fun. Um, you know, stuff like that. We play Blind from Corn. It's my favorite. <laughs> what about? Ed? I like to play Blind from Corn. <laughs> oh, say Nuki. Is yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nuki, my old band. We used to play that. <laughs> What's Head's favorite song to play? Yes. Um. Anything from, anything from girls just want to have fun. Yeah, he doesn't like playing his own song. Here, here, someone just said, "Is there anything new coming from Love and Death?" But you just yeah. dropped an album. Yeah, we just Love dropped a new Love and Death album. So, man, go watch that. Give me some time. <laughs> Can you watch it? It Still? came out on Valentine's Day. I remember I saw well, it. Well, close to. And you got all you got all the boys. Who's, who's that right there? What's it say? Love Mitzi what? Mitzi and Mitzi and Barrett. Love hearing your story last night. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, these last couple of days have been heavy, but they've been awesome. Like getting to know. We have so much, so many friends and family here in Little Rock and Arkansas. And Sonny, did you save your dreads after you cut them off? Dude, I I had them for a while, uh, and then when I finally went to Israel for the first time, I brought I brought them with me. And I was so tripped out because um, I had planned to bury them somewhere in Israel. I was so wrapped up in being there that I totally forgot I even had them until I got into Jerusalem. And I knew I'm not going to try to bury them somewhere in Jerusalem. I was afraid I'd get shot or something. Yeah. So then I told I told myself, if I ever go back to Israel again, I know exactly where I'm going to bury them. Um, I'm going to bury them in um, Ein Gedi, where, where King David was when he was fleeing from Saul. And then the, I got to go back to Israel for the second time. So I'm like, I brought him again and I was going to bury him. And when we got to that spot, it was closed off because of a storm they had. So then I said, it must mean that God's going to bring you back a third time. And when I went back the third time, uh, I, I, I went off on a trail up in um, Ein Gedi, which is over uh, the Dead Sea. And I kind of crawled into this little cave and I said a little prayer. I buried them. And then I, I, I that was it. So they're in En Gedi. They're in En Gedi, and in, in by the Dead Sea in Israel. Yeah. I wonder how much you can get for them if someone goes there <laughs> and finds them and sells them on eBay. I don't know, but if you do, I just want half. That's how about a <laughs> How about a POD and Love and Death tour? Heck yeah! Dude, I hate singing. He's Man, like, I got so much respect for people like Sonny, Jonathan, or whoever. Yeah. At least. Singing is a whole new animal. And would you ever do a Family Values tour with Limp Bizkit? Yeah, I've been saying that for years. Right? P.O.D., Corn, Limp Bizkit, come right. on. That would be, that would be amazing. Bad. And then 
Well, you guys got a sick tour coming up too, man. Yeah. And you guys just did a sick tour right before all this crazy. The Allison Chains thing. That was yeah, that, that was, was crazy. With Under Oath and Fever, that was dope. Dude. You ever guys heard? Oh shoot, I lost that one. We lost that last comment. Hello from Costa Rica. It's been a while since you came here. That's when I knew about the whosoever's. Thanks for keeping the fire burning, Beauty Forever. That's awesome. The last and first time we were in uh, Costa Rica was actually we went and did a show with with Corn. That was would you insane. ever perform at Skillet and Striper? It would be called what? Cross Cross Paths. <laughs> Is that a tour you're putting together? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Only if Striper. Yeah. Performs the spandex. <laughs> exactly. All yellow. <laughs> Who knows? Rasta gal, you we are love to Oz. Oz by the what's way. up? I know. Oz is doing good. He is. Yeah, He's yeah. Back on tour. Well, are you serious? Well, what the heck? Is he Oz? back to normal? Dude, Oz is doing great. Skillet. I, I do a tour with Skillet. That'd be awesome. Stripe. Right I don't. I don't know. I, 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 I do whatever. I'm. We're so excited to be playing shows again. That's just. I'm down for whatever. Do you guys like black metal? Even though you are a Christian, uh, if I can dance to it. You can dance if you want to. <laughs> I only like music I can groove to. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm not a big metal fan. Like We always get lumped in with metal bands, and we're always playing heavy, heavy shows. But I've never been like, not that I'm not a metal fan. I just, I've been, I was more like into punk rock and hardcore, you know what I mean? And rock and roll and reggae. Uh -huh. and, and then all of a sudden, I think, I never really considered POD metal, but I think because we're kind of aggressive and maybe in your face a little bit that they just, assume you're this heavy band but every time we play with all these heavy bands i just feel like we're not as heavy as them you know we just or, or we're always forced to play our heaviest stuff when you know our albums we have we have so many other different things going on so but if, the, if it's good sorry I don't, what's your hair currently? what sunny what's your hair currently what's your hair oh currently? you got dreads again I'm dude trying. show me your dreads, dreads. Nah. Nah. Growing. Do you, do you do you break them out when you play live? Pizza I've only guy. played live uh, once, but they're growing. I mean, they're awesome. growing. They're, they're, growing. The live right now. they're my COVID dreads. Happening. We're giving away pizzas on the live stream. They just showed up. I started I started locking up um at the end of 2019 just to see if they would do it again. And then uh, once COVID hit, uh, I knew we weren't going to be touring and stuff, and so I just um. I just let and it so, go. And, and you read their, you read their yeah. Well, so, so he's operating. He's, he's bringing the questions and the good trying. Ones, and then you just going out. People just it's just like having a backstage. I'm trying. Dude, those, those are, are so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, those are way longer than I thought. Why do you always have them in a hat? They already look good. Cause you know how it is, bro. Yeah. Just like <laughs> well, I mean, it feels better, right? Yeah, I had them HR locks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. I'm gonna. <laughs> Dude, those things are long. <laughs> Man, that, that's what COVID they're getting does. there. Yeah, that's COVID. They're getting there. Those are so good. Dude, that's so fun, bro. You always had the dude. best dreads out of everybody. <laughs> I love it, dude. I just, we'll see how long I can keep it. Come on. Dude, keep it going. Yeah, I know. I just, I'm trying. Keep it going, dog. What's they that feel saying? Good. If you weren't a musician, what would you be doing? Sonny and Brian, uh, what would you want? In, what? in a care package brought to you at a show. If you weren't a musician, what would you be doing? And what would you want in a care package at a show? I would definitely be doing investments, real estate, and stuff like that, and uh, and full-time ministry. So I'd, I'd bounce those back and forth just because I love talking about God. You know, when you have an encounter with God's love, it's it's like... You got that stupid smirk on your face, so you kind of, you kind of fell in love, and you found the meaning of life. So that's my, that's what I love to talk about, you know. But I love to do business too. It's just it's really interesting to me, and it's fun. And then you cry like me, like a baby, because you're just still in love with God. Go, nope. Sonny. Nope. I don't know what I do when you sing. You bring me peace. Yes, Rasta gal, epic. I'm not. I'm finishing up some reggae music since it says Ross. Oh yeah, yeah, talk about. I can't that. wait. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. I'm just having fun. When when we were locked up in COVID and at home, um, it, it it was just something to do to stay busy and stay creative. And uh, I've been wanting to do a reggae album for so long, um, but you know I always put POD first, and so it's just something I, I just want to get out to do because I love music, man. How many songs do you have? Is like a, is it like a full album? I got I honestly recorded like just just from home like uh, like 
almost 15 songs, but uh, I'm still mixing them and producing them. But I'm going to I'm gonna drop something soon, kind of just maybe throw a single here, a single there, and then hopefully in between, um, and then put, out, put it out, and then hopefully when POD has some time off, whatever, then I'm definitely going to jump on some cool corn tours and uh, play reggae music before. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, okay, this no, is a good one. Reggae bands. That last guy just said, what was the first album you bought for both of you? I just told Head right now, I, the first seven inch I bought was actually was a Devo Whip It How seven you? inch. How I don't know, I don't know. But the first tape cassette I bought was actually, and I don't know why, maybe just because it was, I was here in the time, was actually uh, Billy Idol's Rebel Yell. And I, wasn't, and I wasn't even like that music, you know, kind of fan. But so mine, it was cool. the first one I heard, I didn't buy it, but it was actually the first two my parents got me into music. One was Queen the Game. And uh, the other one was ACDC, Back in Black. My mom bought it for Christmas. I think she bought it yeah. for me. And that dude, that lit me up right there. I was 10 years old. <laughs> How cool is Don't it when you it. can say your mom bought you? Right? <laughs> wow. Everybody's like, my parents wouldn't let me listen yeah. to that. <laughs> dude, my mom's the sweetest thing. Like, she's like, a, you know, they would call her Mrs. Brady, you know, when we grew up. She's just really, like, kind of sweet and pure and everything. Not and Mrs. Welsh? You can see that. Head, well, what's your relationship with Jonathan like these days? Have he, how does he view, wait, what? Have his views on Christian change, Christ change, all because of you and Fieldy's testimony? No, he's just, he has his own thing. He gets irritated actually about this stuff because Hi, Tom. he grew up, he, he, he kind of grew up in church a little bit and he believed all that stuff and did all of that. And then he got abused by, uh, um by people um yeah. in in different ways you know um he, he had like priests hitting on him at one point when he was in college and it makes me sick and uh priest trying to sleep yeah, with so, him imagine that so but he, he believes in all that stuff you know he just told me the other day actually and uh, it's funny because he has this uh he says any christian tries to argue with him and he breaks open his phone and he goes i just show him this and it has two lines it's like a chart and it says this is how many people the devil killed or something it's like that and then this is how many people god killed it's like that <laughs> and i was just laughing he's just jonathan man and i love him right where he's yeah, at. I, I love jonathan. how he i love that he's himself and i don't get offended at anything he says or anybody says because people are easily offended man all over the place yeah. cancel culture and all this like, yeah come on yeah i know i can get offended nothing congratulations on 20 years from Kansas City. Uh, thank you, thank you. I know satellite is 20 years, that's insane to, to feel like we've been doing it that long and then just going on almost 30 years, which is crazy, but. 20 years, so do you do use Just For Men on your dress? Come or are they, or are they great? It's called Mexican blood, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I didn't know you were Mexican. I'm all mixed up, don't trip. <laughs> My grandfather was a short little Mexican guy from Mexico and he, uh, <laughs> All, I just remember all my uncles and them all had like dark black hair. I know. So they were like, my dad, yeah. my dad, it wasn't been all the beards. Like he left you something. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they kept their hair all. Okay, black. when COVID is over, will you come to Argentina and rock that the amazing yes. way you guys That's rock? The place. Have you seen that ACDC concert at Argentina? No. Is that Argentina or is that? They play. Hey, everywhere. South America goes nuts. Oh, dude. Yeah. Always. I think it's Argentina. I was You're just probably talking to right. someone from there. I love RG. Either that or Chile. Chile, yeah. Chile, yeah. They have that new big Chile. arena down there. Chile. But dude, the Santiago. passion in like uh, Argentina at the concerts, like no. What's other. the next question? Yeah, I love I love South America, dude. South America's got you guys should play more songs sure. of te what? testify. Uh, I can't read underrated that. record. Yeah, underrated yeah. Record. For sure, um, I, I definitely want to. I think with doing this last stream, uh, Marcos has really been open. Um, you know, he he played a lot of songs that, that he wasn't a part of. You know, so not that it's a sensitive issue, but uh, you know how it is. Like, dude, we did two records without Marcos, and so we played the songs that we we writ, you know we wrote together. Um, but he stepped up, and we did a lot of songs uh, on that rarity set. Um, 
which was really cool. But uh, yeah, I love that Testify record. And we will. We just, you know, now we have a lot more songs to pick from. You know, it's it's hard when you've been around as long as we have, and you have so many songs, and then you know, what's you do an hour to an hour and a half set, and you know, you try to play the songs that most people, you know, have heard. Of, you know what I'm saying? So it's just it's difficult sometimes. I found it. What was your favorite track on Fundamental Elements? Um, Southtown will always be a favorite. But it was cool to play that record, playing Hollywood. We haven't played that in a while. Playing songs like Follow Me and that we haven't played in 20 years. And I love Image. Do you think you would ever write a book? Well, because I, I want to be like these guys. Speaking of the, oh, oh, we're authors. We're authors. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We can hang out with them sometimes. Author, <laughs> author, Ted and Ryan. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to. That's a plan. You got it. I want to. So we're in a, air, uh, what is it? What is this called? Air, Airbnb. Airbnb. Somewhere in uh, Little Rock, lots of rocks, Arkansas. If you guys, if there's anybody in Arkansas, we're here for a few more days uh, and we'll be hitting up the skate parks and cruising. Um, couple different churches giving our testimonies and story and it would be so cool to hang out with you guys tell me where the whosoever's uh social media and all the and the whosoever's website all the dates are there yeah go to the whosoever's.com and you will see all the dates who, what would your dream collab be with who do you want to play with me yeah justin bieber a oh, little trip. I'll get down with justin he, he did a justin bieber right. song on love and death i know it's rad dude. Uh, that was crazy Thanks, guys. Um, Took my idea. That's what he did. Zach, Zach De La Rocha, Sonny, uh, and Maynard. <laughs> Dude, how crazy would that be? Dude, I love well, Maynard's yeah. a jerk face. I think. <laughs> it's all right. He's I just, got your back. <laughs> I'll do a song with Zach and Ray. That'd be Dude, sick. that guy. Actually, you know what I what a dream would be? And, and um, uh, Rest in peace, MCA. If the Beastie Boys ever wanted to do shows again, I would fill in for uh, MCA. Dude. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I would do heck that yeah. in a heartbeat. That would be crazy. Oh, Have you seen the movie that came out that they did? It's the best. Oh, my gosh. That was so good. Sick. See, dude, that was. Why is When Angels and Serpents like Dance not on sad, uh, Spotify? Because you know, uh, we actually own that record. And so. Um, Label politics, right. you know, it's trying to stay up on all the streams. The that God bless you. The streams and stuff is all new, you know, and nobody buys records. So that's kind of like on us to put it up and yeah, go through all those hoops. So we're trying to learn all that stuff. And plus, we want to re release it at some point this year and next year. And so it'll, it'll be up. There's so much label politics, and it just, you know, it keeps us a lot of people from wanting to even make records these days because what are you doing? <laughs> Jerk? <laughs> <laughs> How do I book you? I don't know. Are you a promoter? <laughs> you have to check book. How do I, <laughs> I do private parties for uh, for the cheddar. Do you, do you know how to write zeros? <laughs> <laughs> and sign your name? <laughs> as long as you have a, I'm joking. not joking. You got a big bank account. I uh, will. Me and Head, me and Head are going to do a, a acoustic project. And uh, we're doing private parties. Highest bidders. Yes. Let's, let's go. All corn and peony songs. Yeah. Acoustic. Acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> in, in and out. Five, oh, in and out, five guys or. Oh, you already burger. know. You already know. In and out burger, baby. The one you said first. In and out burger, all the way. I'm in and out gang. Can I? Can, no. Can, will I get in trouble if I. No. no will I get in trouble? Ed doesn't have an opinion in this. I'm telling you right now. Five you did not, guys. You did there's not. No, no, there's no in and out by my house. I'm mad at her. I said, <laughs> I, said I want to open up uh, in and out I said the same thing. And she goes, no, it's only family. And I'm like, come oh, on. No, it is family. I wanted to I'm do one in Bend, Oregon. Really? I, I asked her. I'm like, hey, if you ever franchise outside the, you know, the fam. You're going. They're going up there. Dude, and, and, and in and out burger. Is there a family? Yes, I would Christ. do it with you. What? They're in Denver now. They're coming across. Lindsay, if you're listening, uh, me and Ed want to open up in and out burger. And make the burger, the meat, hey, just a little bit thicker, like five minutes. Bro, well, I, will, I will cook the burgers and everything. Hey, guys, you inspire me and the guys in what? I can't, I can't Reliant, I'm maybe a Reliant K, maybe. I don't know. Reliant, 
Bring us out with you guys. Bring us out with Reliant K, maybe? Relent? I don't know. Relent. 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 You guys inspire me. Thanks, man. Gaston, Gaston Flores. I just heard of Relent. So that? oh, yeah? That's nice. Sick. Did you guys play with uh, GFM? The Relent? Maybe I'm tripping. Tripping. Maybe. And I don't know this for sure. Maybe. My favorite, my favorite saying in all the world, come to Brazil. I don't think Jesus ever said Yes, when things get better. That's that's the plan. I mean, we got U.S., uh, P.O.D. will be touring, Corn will be touring on the U.S. because it's opening up. But uh, a lot of things are opening up in Europe again, which is kind of cool. So the, the fingers crossed that we'll be able to go back soon. And um, I know things have been real crazy in Brazil and South America, but, you know, Lord willing, things will get really better soon. And um, that's the plan. The plan is a 20-year anniversary of satellite, and we're trying to go around the world with it. We're trying, trying, trying. We're pushing it off. And, you know, it's just being patient and waiting on just all this craziness. Did you find Relent? Yeah, Relent. I just saw you guys' concert the other day. What? It was on with Spoken and uh, JR played with them. So that was awesome. I watched Heck yeah, watched dude. It. It, was, it, was, it was awesome, man. Yeah, shout out to Spoken. We've we known the Spoken guys forever. Yep. Shout out to Relent. Shout out to Relent. New music. Uh, yeah, we're always, you know, we're trying, we're, we're writing. It's just a process. You know, this is, we were hoping to tour all year long on this uh, satellite reunion or 20th anniversary. And so it looks like it's going to get pushed to 2022 as well. So that's kind of been the main focus. Uh, but we're always writing in the back, you know, in the background. Sophie Wilson, thank you. So even with this, I also I'm so not familiar with Twitch, but you know we're all trying to jump in this game because from what I hear, it's like this is the cool way to communicate with with all um, our friends and family out there, and um, it's a little bit more personal. And so we try to do we try to stay as personal as we can without spending 24 hours on social media because it drives me crazy. Dude, I post and jump. I know, dude. I just it's, can't. It's, I can't get wrapped up in it, man. Life yeah, is too and you shouldn't. Short. Life have, is too short, and you shouldn't, man. We have only so many hours in a day, and you yeah. could just waste them on that yeah. thing. Man. This is kind of cool, though. Like, if you only did it for like a certain amount of time, and everyone tunes in, and you can answer million yeah. questions. No, I love it. Yeah, because the other social media, because you get stuck just flipping through stuff and, and typing is all night. Like, so, but I heard there. Like, I don't yeah. know all the rules, but I heard there's ways to like. I don't know. You can. Do special things like I don't know, say all those subs giveaways or whatever stuff. giveaways. That's what I wanted to do. I have so much old kind of um, POD memorabilia and stuff, and like you know, just some limited stuff that I've had in my closet for years. And it's just time to kind of give away all that stuff and make room in my closet. Next I don't know. There's cool stuff. We were we were thinking about doing interviews like this, hanging out like this, giveaways, a lot of cool stuff that you can't get on other social platforms, and so. We're gonna try and do some cool stuff. What was the hardest song for you to write? Yeah, they said. I don't know about right. I mean, just just trying to, to de develop as a singer. You know, I mean, if you, most of you guys know, when, just started mostly rapping and screaming, and then, you know, when when satellite came around, tried to sing a little bit more. And I'm always trying. I'm just trying to learn. I, I don't consider myself, you know, a singer. It's just I just try to get better. That's it. Every album, you know. The Three Amigos, Islander TV. Oh, that's, is that uh, uh, Mikey? Mikey? What's up? That's Mikey. <laughs> Who's Mikey? <laughs> Mikey, the Four Amigos. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Is that that guy with the hairy chest? Something. Like <laughs> the hairy that. belly. Hairy belly. Mikey. <laughs> hairy belly. He's got a hairy belly. He's got a hairy everything. <laughs> Just joking. He's as smooth as a baby's butt. Yeah. What's up, Mikey? I miss you. I don't know if it's Mike. I don't even know if he runs his stuff. Yeah, he's in there. It's my other that's, boy. That's him. Say what up to Pi. Yeah, that's Pi. And uh, oh, uh, what was it? Yeah, uh, it's my other boy. Yeah, that's Mikey right he, there. Look, what does he say? Is he, it Mikey? No. Is it Pirati? <laughs> say what up to Pirati. Pirati. Where are you from, Pirati? It's not. It's not. Is it Mikey? Mikey, is that you? 
that Alabama. Or I'm in Arkansas. What's in Arkansas? We're in Arkansas. We're in Little Rock, and we'll be in what? We were in Hot Springs today. We'll be in. Oh man, hold on. I don't even know. We still got a couple more skate parks to go to. We're hanging out. We're doing best trick contest. Tomorrow's Monday. We're gonna yep. be in uh, Conway. 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 We'll be at uh, Lake Point on Wednesday. Head's uh, going to be sharing his story. Um, Mike, he has, a, he has hairy everything. <laughs> and uh, Head has new slippers. Spider-Man slippers, yo. Spider-Man rocks. I have to shave for like four hours, Mikey. <laughs> yes, I told you. Is that Mikey? It's a commitment. <laughs> what up, Mikey? <laughs> so, Mikey, you need to come out with us next time. You guys should form a band. Yeah. He's a he's a teacher now. Teacher. Mikey's running stuff, man. Mikey's a man. My question goes to head. What's your inspiration to create to create new riffs? Um, honestly, monkey. <laughs> For real, we get in yeah. there, and we jam I mean, it, yeah, you know. Yeah. But like, he's killing. Like, monkey um, kills it. The last like couple records, I come in and I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy's just yeah. running stuff, and I get behind. Uh, and, uh, you guys are amazing, man. Oh, thank you, man. He's my guitar twin brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two of the best guitar players out there, man. Sonny told me, you should go back to corn, but I was too religious. I wouldn't listen to him. Sonny's of the hey, world, man. No. Hey, don't say that. You get you get me in trouble whenever you say that. I know, People right? People hate me because they you went back to corn. They think it's my fault. It's all science. They hated Jesus. Exactly. Good for me. Would we ever see a track with Head and P.O.D. together? Ooh, that would be fun. Heck yeah, dude. Down. Next Love and Death or next... Uh, I mean, I wanted to be on the Love and Death record, but Head never hit me up. Dude, it's COVID. COVID. Oh, wait, no, you could have done that home. COVID did. stopped me from picking up the He phone did call. Justin Bieber instead. <laughs> what is that? Right? Lacey. He did, yeah, you know, he, he did his I, friends. I thought, it might be a little, I, thought, I thought it might be a little fruity with JR and Sonny on the Bieber track. <laughs> It's okay, well, dude. I'm Even though I'm the only Justin Bieber fan. Like, they they might not have yeah. But I You'd have, say fruity, fruity pie. I, I, Would I, we I, ever I, see? Oh, <laughs> thanks, David Humphrey, for your question. Yeah, yeah, no, it's like a trip. Like a so what? Should, what else should we do? I'll, we can, next time I come on, I'll, hopefully I'll be home. We can give away stuff. We can. I love to do like interview some cool people. I love to talk about real stuff. I love to. I wish I was more of a video gamer, but I'm not. <laughs> you can start. That's how this whole thing started, was just video games. But the Whosoever's Movement changed my life. Much love from Oregon. That's what's up, Andy. That's awesome, man. What are we doing? Uh, Bend, Oregon. Dude, uh, Bend, Oregon. Dates. There's some. Oh, yeah, we can plug that. There's some dates. Actually, I hate Bend, Oregon. Don't hey, move there. Lucas, where are the dates of Bend? <laughs> and, uh, hey, you're I heard that's what Chino moved. Ben, right? Chino, no, he was. Chino hey, moved to Bend for a minute and then he left. Um, Aaron's there. Um, Aaron uh, from um, Avenged. Yeah. Or ex drummer. Oh, yeah, yeah. He lives uh, there. Chase, Chase ben, is out in yeah. Bend. Chase ben is out in Portland, there. Oregon. Those are the One two of the spots. sickest tattoo artists. Chase is out there. Ben sucks. Don't go there. Yeah, don't. I don't know. We got we got to wait for the dates, but they're coming. Dude, Ben is awesome. Dude, Ben is and rad. It's sunny too. Is it? Yeah. All the uh, you know you think Oregon. Thanks, you Patrick. Think... Pld rocks. Thank you, dude. Bradley Smith, Sunny, yeah. come out to my farm. I'm in Arkansas. Come see how we live. <laughs> what part of Arkansas? No, there's some there's some chunk there. Don't trip. Let's go. Don't trip. <laughs> we're doing like two, like three, four events a day, and, and we're I'll being be out every day. We did Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, and we do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, and then fly home Thursday. But appreciate the invite, man. Ryan Brown, what's up? Sunny Ryan and Head, great to catch you guys live. Been a rough weekend. A week and a half, my mom passed away two weeks ago on Wednesday. No. I'm so sorry, bro. So sorry, man. man. Yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry, brother. Hey, man. No I feel, more suffering. Yep, I feel you. 
it don't uh it don't chile no words we is say is gonna matter but is chile oh and can you come to chile or is it like right god knows what's up the man they're like riding down there we're trying to get to chile we had a tour set up to chile and then the, and COVID hit are you all yeah. going to do a tour in, in where cali cali yeah right when we get back there's a tour if you go to the whosoevers.com there's a tour happening I don't know about POD and corn tours right now. Not yeah. California. Corn, you guys announced your dates. We haven't announced our dates yet, but I know we start in August 14th at Sturges, and then we do two months. But uh, we're looking. I think we'll be in Cali, and we're looking to do a couple San Diego dates. I think we might have a Orange County, Santa Ana date. Um, but, dude, when, uh, when all these uh, shows and stuff open up and concerts, dude, you guys – Please go see shows. Show these, uh, show the all these people that that concerts and live music matters. Hey, when uh, when you go to Sur Sturgis, do you just do you stay there? Or do you just go into uh, the day and then play? And you're out of there. We usually just just to, you know. Normally we just get in and get out, kind of play. You just play that day and then you leave that same day, right? Yeah. I got a Sturgis story. Judah, Sunny, you inspired so much. Hey, thanks, Judah. Okay, listen to my Sturgis story. Yes, yes. Corn never played there, and about five, six years ago, we play there, and and we find we run into uh, Pastor Greg Laurie, and he's oh, up there on a Harley Davidson. <laughs> you know, he's doing the biker no thing. He, way. He, just, he loves to get away from pastor life, I think, and just like go be a normal dude. Yeah. So he comes to a show. He's like, oh, I've never seen Corn before. He comes to a show. He's backstage by the bass and the guitar rig where me and Phil the are. And the show starts right when the show starts it's like 68 year old woman biker lady just takes off her shirt <laughs> right then where old grandma no. bike, an old yes. grandma biker just takes off her shirt and she's like yeah <laughs> and greg lori's right there it. and i'm like the first time greg yeah, yeah. comes and this happened yeah, yeah it was just like okay sorry pastor <laughs> I mean, he was at a biker yeah, like, yeah. rally all week. What do you so expect? He was to it. He had his chaps on. That is classic. <laughs> and she was seven years old. Mountain going. climber. Yo, Sonny, are you going your dreads back? Yeah, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. It feels awesome, too. I just started to see if they would actually muscle memory dread up again. And then I uh, just, once we were home for COVID and I had nothing else to do, I just let them go. He was, I've always been a dread at heart. Still, um, Bradley Smith, what time Wednesday? How do I find more info? I'd like to meet you guys Wednesday. Uh, go to the whosoevers.com and check out our social too. We've been posting it. Um, Wednesday, we'll all be there. And that's, uh, is it in Hot Springs? It's called Lake. Tours. Oh, Lake go to the whosoevers and then there's a button that says tours. Yeah, on the top, and it has all the dates, places, and times. And we're we're actually doing a skate park earlier. We told all the kids today they were going to be bringing pizzas and gear and giving away free stuff. And then we're going to go right back over to the spot, and then we'll be hanging out. Did you get a vaccine? No, don't. Don't tell. Everybody's tripping. Trinity, Trinity, dark. No. I get tired. Dark King or Dark King? Hey, Mike, it's Ashley sending love from Mikey. Vancouver, Canada. Hey, Ashley, we're sending love from Lots of Rock, Arkansas. Hey, don't talk politics. We're not right? talking politics. Don't talk. Don't Sonny, talk. You're going to get the vaccine on? Don't talk. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Ow. I just got the. Uh, Kick back. Kick day. back, dude. Oh! There you go. Holly West. Have you all watched The Chosen? As a Christian, I absolutely wow. love it. I think you guys will too. Uh, when I first heard about it, I've been wanting to because a lot of people have been recommending. I just haven't had a moment to sit down and do that. I got the app and everything, and I was trying, but uh, I haven't. You saw it? I'm on episode four or five or six right. on, on the first one. I didn't want to watch it for so long because I'm sick of all these like uh, gospels movies that they've been doing for so long and they all look the same and they end up cheesy. Mm -hmm. And my and people have told me, no, watch this one. Watch this one. And I watched it and I was like, I really like it. 
Nice. So I, gotta um, get I, I, I recommend it. Dude, it's I'll really do it. good. You got to get through the first episode. It's a little slow because it goes off the story of uh, this you know, demon, demon possessed. I started girl. the first one and it was a little slow, but I, I'm going to. Dude, right when you get to the end of it, you're hooked. <laughs> okay. Just trust me. I'm doing it. I got the app. I've been waiting to. Uh, John PH. Brian, my favorite moment of you was in Phoenix after Kanye West got done and half the crowd left. He said, I don't want and for all you real Christians who stayed. Do you see that? Do you see that? What? John PH says, Brian, my favorite moment of you was in Phoenix after Kanye West got done and half the crowd left. You said, and for all you real Christians who stayed. <laughs> no, I, I would, dude. Oh, hey, don't, hey, yeah, yeah, don't defend yourself. I got you. No, no, I go. That dude, homeboy, put me on after Kanye. Just yeah, speaking, like, I'm what? like, how do you do Everyone's that? leaving, and I'm like, are you guys gonna leave too? Uh, what did I say? I said something funnier than that. Yeah, yeah. I just had fun with it. Yeah, you know, yeah, I wasn't like. Across the board. Uh, what, what you had to say was legit. Like metal, That's why you went on last. Yeah. I got a my, my parents, Janae, I got it. Ross, you got your voice. You're old, though. Is unique yeah. and one of a kind. Thank you so much. You don't want to get blood glass. That's what I'm saying. Ross, <laughs> <laughs> you Jen, Jen. Thank you for saying that. I always said, like I said, I don't, I don't, ever, I don't consider myself... A good singer. It's just more stylistic. Than, what? You know, grandpa. That I'm comfortable Wait, what? Stop. You got to stop being a grandpa and play some, some video, video games. games. <laughs> Me and Mikey. I <laughs> would be Mikey. Who is that? Uh, Gark. Uh, hey, Mike, Mike. Not, Mike. hey, Mikey, tell your boy to stop uh, being funny. Mikey's clowning. Being a grandpa. Dude. Put Mikey in this mug. You know how it is. This is where it's about coming to Argentina. ASAP. You know, I married an Argentinian woman. Argentine. All Argentine. The time. I'm just waiting to get down there. Ronald Wilson, can I get a shout out for the United States Army? United States Army, what's up? Thank you for Thank serving. you for your shout service. Out we love you guys. All of you guys, man. Thank you for your service. In fact, I bought uh, Starbucks cards. For Ten bucks each. And I look for a uh, soldier to give to you at the airports and stuff. Just, That's okay, sick, thank you, man. Dude. Let's go. Uh, in the end of uh, the mid somewhere in uh, 2019, before all this craziness, uh, POD actually played in Abu Dhabi, and I think I believe it was like the 75th anniversary for the army, which for what? is super dope. That's actually what I wanted to do. I, we we've been trying to do all the um, uh, uh, like the bases and stuff around the world. You know, thinking that maybe they would allow shows, you know, through all the pandemic and everything, but nothing. Joel. Hey, we have we have a trailer for your show. Pocanoi. Hey, Sonny, do you keep in touch with any of the band members of Project 86, Blindside, and Living Sacrifice? We're in Little Rock. Yeah. Hung out with Lance Garvin, the drummer of Little Rock, uh, the other day because they're from Little Rock. Um, and he's awesome. I love that guy. And we keep in touch. Uh, Project 86. Um, I think the only member left is Andrew, and we played a festival with him some years back ago, and, uh, and I hadn't seen him for years before them, So, but it was nice to see him, and then they, they played. We watched them. Um, Blindside, mostly social media stuff, you know, hey, what's up? Um, and Marcus, the drummer, actually hit me up the other day for a birthday shout-out for his wife, so it's cool. I, I follow all them on you know socials and stuff, so... I mean, you feel like that you, you kind of know what's going on that? with them, but I love Blindside. They're still one of my favorite bands to this day. Living Sacrifice is one of my favorite bands to this day. Bradley Smith, Trey is the best bassist. I agree. He's definitely my favorite bass player as well. And for the brothers in rock and roll. POD, love and death. Collab song, let's go. Music God 88. I'm telling you, I'm trying to get this guy to, to get with the program. Oh, gosh, please. <laughs> Judah Corsi just found Children of the Light collab with Lecrae. It's fire. Learning it on drums. Nice, man. Yeah, Ryan and I spoke at a, a youth convention years ago in San Diego, and Lecrae was actually, um, he was, I think he was performing at the night, but we went during the day when he was actually teaching um, the Bible, and I had never heard of Lecrae before. 
but I sat in while he was teaching and I, it was legit. His, uh, his teaching was legit and he, he just seemed like he seemed legit. And when we hung out um, backstage, uh, he's an awesome dude. And um, he said, he asked me if, if I would ever jump on a track and we did. And then, um, he, yeah, and he's just, he's just done so well since then. Jaws uh, 1015, thanks for the kind words earlier this year. Things are moving up for me. Flight instructing now in Indiana. Much love. Come see me soon. That's what's up. We, we have your trailer that we could play to you for the concert. Can we do that? Well, yeah, well, yeah. We could just we could just play it, and you can come back, answer it, some more questions. Okay. We, yeah. Chris says, Brian, please say hello. Hello, Chris. It says hello. All right. Well, how do we do this? Hey, Lucas, play uh, play the trailer for Sonny's show. Yeah. Let's this Thursday. It. You got 48 hours to watch the full set, and then it's gone forever and out of here. Ever. What up, family? POD Southtown boys right here at Petco Park. They want us to play here May 13th. It's going to be good. It's gonna be good. A few shows, few shows. POD. The 20th anniversary premiere streaming event with three performances from Petco Park in San Diego. May 13th, Satellite performed in its entirety. May 27th, The Fundamental Elements of Southtown. And June 10th, B-Sides, Rarities, and Hits. All celebrating the 20th anniversary of the landmark album Satellite on a 48-hour replay. Get your tickets, get your bundles, get all the good stuff. And join us here in San Diego, Southtown, California. Get tickets at boxoffice.mandolin.com. You know we're ready. Are you ready? Oh, snap. <laughs> That's it. No bundles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so sick. Get there. Dude, it's so fun to play again, and that's awesome. If you missed Satellite, then you missed it. But Fundamental Elements from Front to Back is this Thursday. Please check it out. Please tell everybody it's so fun. And then we do a rarity set here in a few more weeks. That dude, that's so sick that how that you just played that. That's like this Twitch thing's kind of cool, right? All right, Jesse, whosoever, what's up, dude? I love that guy. I love you, man. We already got, he got his ticket. POD. Jesse, whosoever, I love that Still, dude. Brian, whosoever is Lacey. Tina Price, POD, I love you, Brian. Whosoever is Lacey. Yee -hee. You know this. Billy, yo, Sonny, much love from Houston. Can't wait to see you in September at BuzzFest. Yes. Buzz Fest. So stoked to be coming back to Houston and be able to do the BuzzFest. That's so sick. Much love to uh, BuzzFest for always giving us so much love. It's just nice to be, be able to play shows again. And the thought of being able to go back on tour is just it's really cool. Melissa Ingle, can't believe it's been 20 years for Satellite, right? You and me both. It feels like just yesterday. And now I'm getting old. And yeah. the head's falling asleep. All right. We'll keep up for a few more minutes, and then we're going to wrap it up. Nate Shrine, first live stream concert I saw was Love and Death, which rocked. Yeah. Thanks for checking it out. That's what's so, up. Another thing Head didn't ask me to do. He watched it on the way back from Idaho. <laughs> Dude, you would have flown up during the, the in yeah. the in the fall of no, COVID. I'm not trying to catch COVID. <laughs> Dude, can you believe I, I can't Lacey, help it. I you caught Lacey it? in the drive. She they took the motor home. Yeah, yeah. How far? They, the but they're a lot closer like than me. Eight hours or something. Andrew, yeah. what's up, Andrews? Arana, what's up, dude? Say hello. So cool to see all these familiar names I know from. I just know uh, the noise, whip pan. What was the last show you saw before COVID closed things down? Mine was corn. What was mine? Was it? Well, maybe it wasn't good. Mine was a lot. That was it. Where, where, where? You know, my, my last show was in San Diego, corn, Allison Chains. That was my last. Yeah, that was the last tour. Fever and fever. It yeah. was, it was, it and under was uh, Irvine. That was your last show? show? Well, because we were touring that, that I saw. Oh, okay. And I then think, you toured after that? And then that? we kept touring, so I didn't, yeah. Dude, we got our last show was the day before March 1st, so February 28th, and then COVID shut everything up, and like yeah. around 7th or 10th. Or Where were you? That was uh, so close. Were you in Europe? No, I was in uh, Fresno, California. It was our last show. Fres, yes. 
Rob, Very whosoever good. says, do you keep in touch with Truby? Uh, yeah, I do. I'm actually been trying to get him to come out because we're in his hometown of Little Rock. I've been trying to get him to come out to one of these events, and uh, we're still trying to work it out. And he said maybe we can do coffee and hang out, all of us. I'm trying to figure it out. Ryan Brown, how would I go about contacting your father? Ryan, how would I? Oh, uh, my father? Call the Diamond Bar, Calvary Chapel, Golden Springs, and Diamond Bar. And you can contact him there. Yeah. Much love to Ryan Don't. again for everything you're going through, man. Yes. Mike, Mikey said his last show was corn. Yeah, me too, man. Really? Yeah, dude. That's everyone. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was my last show too, Mikey. All right. <laughs> Ryan, do a skip for us. You can, like wrap, comedy skip. you can wrap it up whatever you want. Bradley Smith. I remember being a teen and prayed for Head as I was on a church trip. We stopped in a gas station and I saw Head on the cover of Guitar World. Head to Christ. I was amazed. It's your fault. It's all your, it's fault. All your fault, man. <laughs> See what happens when you say big boy prayers? Things change. Thank you very much so for, rad, for, for helping me find the meaning of life. That's so rad. You and me both. I was praying for heads a long time ago, too. Right? They'll suck you live. Right, Jonathan. And still praying for it. It's what's up. It's going to happen. See, this is Twitch. We got we have psychos here. Tom Gillis is the man. Psycho, spaz, freaking Ritalin. Yeah, you know, he, he's he got the uh, world record for the highest snowboard was drop, it? drop in. Drop, 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 dropping yeah, bombs when there's bombs are right. dropped on his plate. I love that guy. Tom Gillis is the man. He's had 16 concussions, so he doesn't remember anything. So you have to remind him that you're a friend. You have to remind him who he is. Wait, who are you guys? It's like that movie. What am I doing here? Hello from Guatemala. What's up? Yeah, 100 dates. It's like every day. Hey, Tom, we're friends. We're friends. Here's pictures of us making out. Oh, yeah. We spot the cops. Sonny, what new bands do you like? No, no, you live near here. What new bands do I like? Yeah. Man. Yes. I'm always looking. There's a sick band called I'm out right now called The Revisionists. Check out a band called Revisionists. Whenever you want, Sonny. You can close it and then this will save and it will upload to all the social sick. platforms and then people can rewatch it. Okay. And then it'll just it'll just Triple keep nine going. Sylvia. It'll keep going. Our last one we did has like forty thousand views. That's, dude, I, this is crazy. Like, because it, like right now you have this where it's pulling all. See, you can see all the different platforms of everyone: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Yeah, yeah. And then Ooh. after, then it'll live on those plat Facebook and all those lives, and then people just share it. Dude, to watch it. Everybody, TikTok is the new. My my daughter dropped a TikTok, and it's got over five hundred thousand views, and it's just stupid stuff, like yeah. a trendy. Well, like, TikTok's actually going down. I heard wow. recently yeah, from our or from our social guy. It's going downtown. Your TikTok. All right, going TikTok. Downtown. All right. And I'm going to let you Rana. close it. How can I contact you for a feature with? Uh, there's a new thing you can go, but this is it. I mean, you know what? The, the truth is, there's a new site that we're all working on called FeaturedX.com. And I'm actually doing songs, um, you know, for up and coming bands. But it's you know, this is more like a label thing. You got to have money to do it. I mean, that's just, that's what's up. You know, it's, it's, it's I've done so many things for free, and it's just kind of at this point, it's just you know, your boy Sonny Dre is trying to survive out here. And uh, I just did a song with this band from New Zealand, and um, they came correct, and the song was super cool. And you know, they paid they paid money to do it, so I got to kind of keep that standard and not. You know. But anyways, I love you guys. Um, again, if you're in Arkansas, man, come hang out. Uh, me, Ryan Head, Jerris, Tom Gillis, all the boys, we're out here trying to do good, uh, do Jaja works out here, and uh, letting these kids know that they're loved and that God has a plan for them. And uh, you know, we're all going through hard stuff. I know, you know, suicide is up, depression is up, anxiety is up, all these things, mental illness is up, and we just want you people to know that you're loved. And God sees you and understands. 
and he's got what it takes for you guys to get through this. So love you guys. Come hang out with us, and uh, let's do this again. I'm trying to figure out this Twitch stuff. I want to give away some cool stuff. Uh, and I don't know how this thing works, but we'll figure it out. What up, family? POD Southtown boys right here at Petco Park. They want us to play here, May 13th. It's going to be good. Few shows, few shows. POD. The 20th anniversary premiere streaming event with three performances from Petco Park in San Diego. May 13th, Satellite performed in its entirety. May 27th, The Fundamental Elements of South Town. And June 10th, B-Sides, Rarities, and Hits. All celebrating the 20th anniversary of the landmark album Satellite on a 48-hour replay. Get your tickets, get your bundles, get all the good stuff, and join us here in San Diego, South Town, California. Get tickets at boxoffice.mandolin.com. You know we're ready. Are you ready? Oh, snap. That's it. Bundles.